everybody, it's Neil from Modo again. Today we're going to be looking at EPC contracts. When developing construction projects, the actual construction phase represents a significant risk. There are a huge number of interface points and a huge number of contracts with organisations, all relying on different supply chains, skill sets and expertise. In an attempt to manage this risk, developers can package the risk under a single contract with a single contracting entity. In the UK, this is often labelled as Engineering, Procurement and Construction, or EPC. This contract is signed between the developer or project company and the EPC contractor. The EPC contractor is always a single entity who pulls together all of the subcontracts with individual suppliers and takes on the management of those contracts typically from the initial detailed design of the project through to handover to the end client. Although the EPC contractor will be a single legal entity, on complex projects that have large elements of civil engineering and process engineering, it can often be put together by multiple organisations that form a joint venture, enabling organisations with different resources to compete in tender processes. Like all things, there is a trade-off in taking on and managing much of the risk in a construction project. EPC contracts are typically more expensive single contracts than the sum of a lot of multi-lot contracts, which are the alternative. For battery energy storage systems or BESS, projects were historically developed without a single EPC contractor and instead managed as multiple individual contracts that were pulled together with an independent consultant or contractor. As projects become larger and more complex, and as more risk-averse money moves into the space, it's likely that we'll see more and more EPC contracts rather than multi-lot. To find out more about how battery energy storage works, make sure to check out the Modo platform. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.